Hello YouTube, this is John. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to resolve uh, their issues when uh, the problem you're going to see right now. So we have our PC here. Uh, whenever we turn it on, it says it brings this. And then after to restart. So in order to resolve this issue, uh, first of all, what you're going to do, you're going to wait for the PC to turn on. And we have our USB with Windows. In my case, I'm going to boot with any Windows that you want. So first of all, whatever happens here, it will always take you to uh, this automatic repair. And it won't resolve any issue whenever you try to resolve the issue. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to connect my USB with Windows on it. Even if it goes to the diagnostic for the PC, even if to diagonalize, nothing will happen. Even if you try very many times, nothing will happen. So what we're going to do, we're going to insert our USB, and then we go to the BIOS system and enable the... We enable... We're going to go ahead and enable the USB boot options. So what I'm going to do here, still, even if we go to the advanced, and you can select here the USB, but in my case here, I'm going to shut down the PC in order for me to choose the right. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and click F12. Uh, actually, it went off. You power the PC on. You have to make sure you have enough power on your PC. You can plug your PC to the electricity. So we happen not to have the USB boot options. So here I'm going to show you how to uh, go ahead and so we're going to go to the BIOS system. In our case, we have the Dell Inspiron. Uh, we're going to go to the BIOS system. Uh, when you go to the BIOS system, the first thing you're going to go ahead, let me go ahead and zoom in. So when you reach here, let me focus. So this is what we have. I'm going to go to the boot sequence and you happen to have this. Then we are going to go to advanced boot options. Then you have to enable this. Sorry about that. So you have, I removed the CD ROM. So we are going to go to, uh, to power management. Then you have to go ahead and enable this option. USB wake up support. Then after that, let's go to post behavior if you have any other option. Okay. Then let's go to So let me save this and restart again. And we see whether we get our USB boot options. In my case, here I updated the 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 BIOS, so I'm going to go to USB configurations in the system configurations. You also have to enable this. Then you have to apply and click OK. So here we're good to go. And I'm going to quit and the computer restart. Then I'll click F12. When the computer powers on, I'll click F12 so that we go to the boot menu. So when we go to the boot menu, uh, we have our USB flash there, and it's a Samsung flash. It has our windows, then you click down below. Then when you go to that option, you just click enter. So when you click enter to start loading Windows files, and you're going to wait for the Windows files to load. And this will take a few minutes. So when you reach there, we're good to go. The next step here is very simple. So about that, let me zoom in it a bit. So when you reach here, 
the only option is to go ahead and install your windows and you don't need to repair the pc we're going to say install now so we're going to do a clean installation and this would work on other the laptops my case here so i'm going to stop from here and the next step you're going to do is just to do a clean installation and you have to make sure your data is backed up if, and i would have made a video on how to back up your data using a command prompt so here i'm going to do install the windows so thanks for watching if this video is helpful please subscribe to this channel don't forget to click the bell icon in order to get notified whenever i upload useful videos like this have a nice time goodbye